Hi guys, I'm Oli and you're watching Classic Airsoft. And I will come to you to the year 1994 when this beauty hits the market. Tokimori AK-47S. Yes, this is the wrong top cover from the box because I only have the box from the normal AK-47. But I wanted to show you the complete box you get when you order an AK-47 from Tokimori back in the days. So I throw this away. And now you see exactly the same what you would see if you order a Tokyo Marui AK-47S back in the days. So what we have here, a nice Tokyo Marui catalog with nice artworks from all the AEGs. So it was the AG catalog volume four. Then you get the normal Tokyo Marui catalog, the small one, some information about the battery. In this case, that's the wrong spec sheet because this is from the AK-47 full stock version. In the AK-47S version with the underfolding stock, you get a battery sheet from, you know, from this really nice stick type batteries. They were used back in the days for this kind of airsoft guns and for the Uzi, just as an example. This big sucker only has 600 milliamps 8.4 volts nickel cadmium. That was the shit back in the days made by Sanyo. So really good batteries, but now they are all dead because of the age and these batteries didn't last very long. So let's see what we have here. The AK-47-47 as user manual. So that's the same for both guns with nice artworks. Everything is explained in Japanese as well as in English. As you can see here, as an example for the adjusting of the hop up, turn the lever, forward, backward, more or less hop, cleaning the gun. On the last pages, we have an explosive diagram or parts diagram with all the numbers and pricing. On the last page, we have some real specs of the AKs. AK-47, AK-47S, real specs, airsoft specs. So we throw this away. Then we have a muzzle cap in the box, pop-up tag. This cover is for space of a large type battery in the um, styrofoam part of the original AK-47S box. You have having this cut out, you have a smaller one for the Hyper Command stick type battery made by Sanyo. Then you have some 0.25 gram BBs and the heart of the package, the Tokimarui AK-47S underfolder, as well as an unjamming rod on the bottom here and a tool to adjust the front side. Here she is. Keep in mind, the thing is released 30 years ago. So that was the very first, the very first underfolding AK Airsoft AEG released in 1994, directly parallel to the full stock model. And I think, I don't know, I'm not an AK expert, but I think the real AK S with the folding stock was made for tank crews or I don't know, paratroopers. Yeah, so we have a little bit more metal parts here than in the full stock version because we have the full metal underfolding stock, the holding bracket for it. Other metal parts are the bolt, the fire selector, trigger guard, magazine release, trigger top cover, rear side, these two holding lug parts on the top part from the handguard, the gas tube, outer barrel, unjamming rod from the AK, as well as the muzzle brake. You can remove it by pushing it this in, twist it, and then you get a 40 millimeter counterclockwise threading to attach your silencer or muzzle devices. The rest on this AK is out of plastic. 
I don't know, is the rest, the rest, is it English or is it German English mix? I don't know. The other parts are out of plastic, like the hand guard. This is, um, yeah, a wood type finish. And I think, keep in mind that it's 30 years old, it's really well made. So this is plastic, this is plastic. I think it's called Frontronian or Tronian, I don't know. If you can help me there, just put it in the comments right below, thanks. The main body, pistol grip. That's are all the plastic parts. Marking wise on the left side, we have serial number and this stamp. On the top cover, we have the same serial number as on the body, but these are not, um, these are not uh, serial numbers that are following up like one has the 14, next the 15. So these serial numbers are on all Marui AKs are the same. Then we have here ASGK, made in Japan, Tokyo Maruko Limited, German proof marks, some other markings from, I don't know, Russia. Yeah, and then you have a great look on the AK. So the low cap magazine holds 68 BBs and it's as well out of metal. So the great thing about the under folder is you can fold it by pressing this button in and then fold it like this. You can fold it over a magazine. So if you use the AK and just want to have more, a more compact space, if you are entering a building, just fold it over. You don't have to remove the magazine for it. So in this configuration, it's a really compact thing, like in uh, yeah MP5, A4, for example. And now I think you guys just asking yourself, where's the battery going? If you're into Airsoft a little bit longer and you watch the video from the full stock AK from me, you know, there's space underneath the top cover. And exactly that is the space for the battery. So here's the battery compartment. I'm just removing the magazine to show it to you guys. Normally, this one is delivered with a Tamiya connector. I have an adapter to Dean's here to show you the function of the gun later. But this is the battery compartment for the stick type batteries. Back in the days, you just put it in the stick type batteries like like this, I will show you that. It's a little bit fiddly. So all the cables are going in here and then the battery sits against here and in the top cover. So that's it. It was really nice. Yeah, really nice battery compartment. And now we don't need these batteries anymore because they are really huge. Just 600 milliamps of energy in it and if you put a 7.4 watt lipo against it with 1200 milliamps this thing double the size half the power so we use this kind of batteries and to do this we need an adapter or just solder a Dean's connector on the AK Due to the fact that I'm a collector, I keep everything as original as I can. So we use these adapters here. Then I will drop in a LiPo battery. It's a little bit fiddly because the cables are uh, way too long, if you ask me, for using this gun in this setup. They don't have to be as long as they are now, but I don't want to shorten it anyways. So I have to deal with it. Then just close the top cover and that's it. Battery installed. But first I will show you how to adjust the hop up. For this, you push back the, the fake bolt and then you have the sticker here for hop up and this is with a slider in the back 
totally in the front you have less hop if you push it towards the rear you increase the hop up so now we'll take some bbs and we chrono it so let's fill up the magazine with some 0.2 gram bbs as i mentioned before we get the chronograph ready boop 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 here she is and now let's see what this beauty can do the thing is uh due to the german law an saeg that means semi-automatic electric gun so on full auto as well as on semi-auto this thing will only shoot semi-auto so let's see 290.5 294.6, 293.7, So guys, that means that this gun has pretty consistent around 0 0.8 joule as you can see here are the chrono readings of the 10 shots it's 287.7 up to 293.6 feet per second so that was my shot video about the Tokyo Marui AK-47S from the year 1994. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up. It would be really nice if you subscribe and I would say see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.